Hi everyone, this is Paul Lang from Discipline Trading Strategies with this week's Trade of the Week video. This week ending January 22nd of the year 2023, the stock was Home Depot. This happened on Friday the 20th. This is based on a daily major support area with an entry on a one minute DTS breakout play. Management advance and rewards risk 2.0 to 1. And excuse me, that would be entry on a one minute DTS breakout, not a breakout play, that was the entry. Coming up Monday night for you free members is the bi-weekly scanning night. Come join us, get some ideas, share some ideas. Just an informal night, not recorded. We do this every other week. If you're not a member, hop over to the DTS homepage. You'll see places you can become a free member. Daily chart of Home Depot. This along with the hourly chart is what was noticed this day, why I was on the watch list. We're simply looking to have a little morning shakeout to test that area down in there. There's your support area. Remember support areas are not exact, they're just rough areas. Perfect thing to do is to test it on that morning reversal time. That's what happened this day. That's the green bar after the day of the trade. It was, this trade was held all day actually. 60 minute chart, you can see right here, we're gonna open right there. There's our support area from the daily chart. You don't really see it accurately on the hourly chart. We're gonna run down, you can see in that opening little bottoming tail, test that area and reverse out of there. Five minute chart, you can see the entry a little bit better in here. There's the open, we follow that opening 15 minutes. I took the entry right in there. It's not really a breakout, it's more of a, and a one minute chart looks a little bit like a breakout. It's just a secondary sign of strength of what it is what it really is. And I'm not really proud of that entry. That was a very late entry for me. Actually, the reason was because I wasn't staring at this chart. This wasn't one of my hot list. It was on the list, it was on the watch list, but it wasn't a super hot list favorite. So I didn't catch that morning drop, which I normally would have liked to do. It could have been a much better entry and made a lot more money. But it was just a very classic strategy, a simple strategy, and one of those that really exemplifies what I teach about just making money from ordinary moves. If you look at the Home Depot move this day, it was just, go back to the daily chart, it was just a average size green bar but if you get the bottom sell the top you can make good money from that so entry and then target one was really a nice target clips off right at lunch and that was a relative high for the time we didn't really go higher than that until two o'clock in the afternoon and then the second exit i got taken out right there i'm not big on holding the last half hour it gets a little crazy i took it out there on a trail stop and i didn't get that last little pop that was not bad that was like another whole r on that half the position but i missed that end of the day pop there one minute chart just shows you really detail on the entry a little bit better. There's where the entry came right in there. So, you know, kind of a little breakout-ish, but more of what I just call a secondary sign of strength in that particular case. And targets, of course, on the one minute chart are off the chart because they happen at noon and at the end of the day. If you like trades like this, come join us in the DTS trading room. Very well-planned, organized, and a very disciplined way to trade. We're generally done the opening hour of the day, 10.30, maybe 11 o'clock. I hold positions often for the day and I may peek in to manage my positions throughout the day, but like to kind of hold them on, on watch as much as possible. If you like that style of trading where you're gonna be free from 10.30 or 11 o'clock on for the most part, come join us. Hop on over to that DTS website. You can figure out how to join the DTS trading room if you are interested. You can always email me also at paul at disciplinetradingstrategies.com. Until next time, this is Paul for DTS. Good trading, everybody.